El Nido is a very interesting place at night, and I'm currently in the Lonesome Carabao Lounge. I got it right. And a Carabao is like a, how would you describe it, Michael? You actually run the bar? I do, yes. Uh, Carabao is a water buffalo, Southeast Asian water buffalo. It's the national animal of the Philippines. And uh, if you go outside of town just a little bit, you'll see them, uh, you know, pl- uh, plowing rice fields and doing all kinds of uh, manual labor here. So. so I'm with Michael, who originally uh, a finance uh, journalist, is that right? Not originally, but currently, yes. <laughs> so between Singapore and here... Yeah, uh, based in Singapore, I, I uh, come here every two or three months. Uh, I have a local manager to run the bar when I'm not here. Uh, but yeah, we opened two years ago. Uh, El Nido since then has been has been growing quickly, but it's still uh, an intimate place where um, you know you can have peace on the islands and a uh, fantastic nature. But then at night, you've got you know places like this and other places in town to have some good food and some good drinks. Why El Nido? Why did you choose El Nido? Well, I first came here three years ago just as a tourist uh, because I was looking for the frontier. I mean, I wanted a place that was unspoiled, beaches where you could be alone uh, and, uh, you know, and, and not, not too commercialized. And I found that in El Nido. But I also felt it had potential to grow. And you know, every time that I've traveled, I've always looked for a place where maybe I could buy some land or settle down or something. And this really seemed to be a promising spot, something that I could see you know, taking off in the next you know, five, ten years or something. Which brings me to Dan. Dan, you're back for the second time. You were here two years ago. Mm-hmm. Love the place. What is it about El Nido that brings you back? Uh, well, a lot of it is uh, I would, I'm just looking for something different. I've been uh, traveling around different places, kind of on the adventurous thing, but I'm getting older, and I'm, I've been looking for uh, just some place to, to chill out and relax. And, and the, the strange thing is I'm not a beach person, um, I never have been, but uh, now I'm getting older, and I, instead of wanting to travel to see different things and and experience strange cultures, and now I just want to relax and have a place where it feels like feels like home. And what is it that's different about El Nido from, say, anything in Thailand or, or whatever else you've seen? Thailand is just so 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 much on the the mass tourism thing. If you go, uh, say in uh, Krabi, you go on a, a boat tour, you get picked up in a minivan, not, not much different from here, you go someplace else, you get loaded onto a boat with 50 people, and you travel around with 50 people, and it does not have the, the same uh, you were here two years. Feel. You were here two years ago, mm-hmm. I mean, you look at this place, and as you said, Michael, it looks as though it's... It's a buzz place at the moment. Everyone talks about it. Um, you can see that it's, you know, it, 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 how, what changes have you seen from two years ago? Really, not too much. Um, I've seen I've seen more uh, more uh, you know, resorts and hotels opening up in El Nido, but really, not too much has changed in two years, as far as I can see. It's still got that that feel that you like. It still has that feel that I like. Yeah. Well, thank you, guys, and um, we'll, we'll get back to, um, to having a drink in the Lonesome Carabao. Lonesome Carabao. I got it right, <laughs> yes. Um, but a great little place. There's some great, great night, nightclubs and places to eat in El Nido, and this is one of them. And thanks for your time, Michael, thank and you. thanks for your time, Dan.